Richard Paracotti says his niece, Nicole Bradshaw, misappropriated funds meant for the care of his mother. Now, the assisted living facility that your mother was in was in what city and state? It was in Nashville, North Carolina. And in what city and state were you living? I was living in Jacksonville, Florida. Between January 16th and November 28th, how many visits did you make to Nashville, North Carolina to see your mother? None. Miss Bradshaw, between January 16th and November 28th, were you living in Nashville, North Carolina? No, Your Honor. I was living in Rocky Mount. It was seven miles away. But you were in North Carolina? Yes, ma'am. And the facility that your grandmother was in was what facility? In the time my grandmother left the hospital, she was first um, located to a rehab facility. So there was a gap between when she left my home and when she went into the assisted living facility. Okay, so first she went into the hospital. Yes, ma'am. What was the nature of her hospitalization? My grandmother got the flu, a very, very, very bad case of the flu. Okay, she was 94 at the time. 95 at the time, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How long was she hospitalized? It was a little bit after Christmas. I would say about December 28th until January 16th. And then she was moved into the facility. We celebrated her 96th birthday in the rehab. So okay. she was there for quite some time. What kind of work do you do, Mr. Paracone? I'm retired, ma'am. So you don't do anything? <laughs> no. Great. Is there any reason that you can tell me why you didn't go and see your mother while she was in the hospital? Well, it didn't, I didn't have time. I'm taking care of my daughter. How old is your daughter? My daughter's 22. She's disabled. Who else lives with you? My wife. And then your wife can take care of your daughter so that you can go see your My mother wife was once. Working. Once in eight months. And to celebrate her 95th birthday, that would seem to be an appropriate thing for a child to do. Yes, ma'am. Right. Now, during the time that your mother was not living in your state, you were not physically responsible for her, and you did not visit her. What kind of misappropriation of money are you alleging? Well, I told Nicole that I would give Nicole my mother's Social Security and my father's VA pension, which amounted to $2,250, and she could have that as long as she took care of my mom. So? And from what I understand from my mom... So you can't tell me what you understand from okay. your mother. Nicole and I spoke on the phone numerous times about what my mother wanted and, and what she needed to have for her. She enjoyed certain things. And Nicole would complain to me, I don't have time to go get these things. All right, and your mother doesn't need all these things. She's in the facility. And I said, well, for $2,250, you should make a point to get... Just a second. Her. Let's figure out first, how much was the facility? $1,850. So we're not talking about $2,250. We're talking about $400. Yes, ma'am. Great. Okay. The facility, which you paid for, I yes. assume you paid yes. for... Yes, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. ...was $1,850. Then we're talking about $400 that you think this young lady owes your mother because she didn't get her the things that she wanted or misappropriated that $400 over a period of time. Right. Show me. I can't show. I don't know what she did with the money. How often did you visit your grandmother? In the beginning, I went quite often, five days a week. And then? And then my grandmother continued to tell my uncle that I wasn't providing her the things that she needed. I was babysitting at the time. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two children, and the time dwindled. Whatever. So in the beginning, it was okay, and then it got to be a little too Once much. Once she got acclimated and made friends there, my time cut back some. Okay. Give me an idea of what you used that other money for. My grandmother had a, ho a phone in her room. I added her phone to my internet package. It was a bundle. The bill was $100 a month. I paid that together. My grandmother enjoyed club crackers, which she had 19 with every single meal. Uh, she loved ginger ale. She drank Boost and Ensure every single day she had twice. Ice cream, decaffeinated coffee. Okay. okay. Listen to me. When you decided to move your mother to Florida, yes, where is she currently living? She's living in Florida, St. Augustine, about 20 miles from me. No. So just... How many miles from you? About 20. Go ahead. I actually Googled the dis distance between the facility and where he lives, and it's over an hour. St. Augustine from Jacksonville is Just an hour. Give me the name of the facility. Silver Lake Retirement. And how much is it a month? $2,350. Yes. I called. It's 1900 If I was going to call Silver Lake, how much would they tell me it is? The facility is $1,995, $300 for services. Services comes in a different category for people that really... Fine. So she's spending, according to you, $2,350. Is right. that right? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me why you moved your mother over an hour away? It was the closest facility I could find in Jacksonville. That was the brand new facility. That's why I put her in there.